Hello, I'm Nancy Bleem. I'm a certified orthotech here at Boston Children's Hospital, and I'm going to talk to you today about the Halo Traction Walker. Uh, we put children in, uh, that are in Halo Traction in bed, and also the Halo Traction wheelchair, they can use this to walk around. Um, it's even more benefit than the wheelchair because it causes, it gets them out walking, and weight bearing is very important. And for kids who are getting um, some getting straightening of their curves, it helps them learn to walk with a normal, more normal gait. Some working parts of this that you'll need to know: the patient will get out of the bed or get out of the wheelchair, whichever. You have a hold of the halo. And you don't need to give the same amount of traction as they had in bed, just enough to help support their head. And you walk them into this. This will hook, this hook will hook into their halo. Um, this is adjustable by height, and I'll show you how to do that later. But this just hooks into their halo. They are facing forward, so that the curved part of the metal is where they're going to be. But for now, let me show you the working parts. The thing, that, the thing that gives this the same amount of weight as they are in traction is this, and it's literally a fish scale. This is hooked into their halo. It moves up and down like this with the weight of their body causing it. Their body is the resistance, and you adjust it by using this crank. This crank is like a bicycle handle, bicycle brake handle, just like um, when you were a little kid. So you pull in on the handle like this and dial it and it shortens up the rope. You can see that this is going up. So if this was hooked onto their head, they would be getting increasing tension. You can read on here, it's in kilograms and pounds. It goes all the way down to 50 pounds. We haven't had anybody in that much on this hooks into them, you dial it until it feels similar. You do not have to match what's on here with what's on their bed. It needs to feel similar to them. Uh, so it's very helpful if they're verbal. So once you have them facing forward, this hooked in and this dialed up, they can just begin walking. The safety um, this can get this can get really low. You can back the handle backwards, so this can drop all the way down to the floor. And we've had children sitting on the floor in traction, playing on the floor. So this is very helpful because again, it lets them do things that are normal. It lets them do things with other children that they like to do because not every kid likes to sit at a table and paint. So they want to play with blocks. You can literally, with the smaller kids, get them all the way down to the ground and still be in traction and they can move around inside here. They can stand it when they stand up. The parent or who's ever with them, the nurse will close the handle and crank it up until you get the same amount of traction again. It is not exact the same amount of traction because as they walk, the traction is going to move up and down. Uh, and that's to be expected. expected. It's not a fault of it. Um, that's to be expected. Like anything else, before you're going to put them in, it's just like this is a wheelchair. There are brakes on it, just like <clears throat> anything else, and you just set the brakes on all four sides, and uh, it, can hold, it holds it pretty still so that you can get them still. And for the younger kids, it helps keep them still so they don't just take off until you're ready to follow them. So, they will. standing in like this. They don't have to hang on if they don't want to. They can hold on here. They can hold on here if they want to. Um, for the smaller children, once they get used to this, they can even run in this. Um, and uh, it's a, we don't like them to, but the children, it's relatively safe. Um, and this helps corral them a little bit too. For people that are unsteady or people who have altered gait, they can put their hands wherever they want to to walk. They can, um, I've seen children in this um, walk down to the cafeteria, sit down in a chair, then the parent just cranks it down so that they get the same traction again. 
they can eat down in the cafeteria, and they get up, dial the traction back up so it's the same, and then they walk out. There is a, there is a height limit to this. If you have a, t a teenager of some height, there are a few alterations that can be made. On the sides here, that has to be made by me. It doesn't happen very easily. Um, so we try, um, we try to work from here. This is a seat belt mechanism. By getting seat belt, it will extend a long ways so that we can do what I was talking about to get them down to the floor. Um, there aren't very many safety things to be worried about besides the brakes. The, they're not in traction that you need to check the ropes. The ropes were checked anyways. Um, it's just a really good thing and a good way to increase their ability to enjoy their time while they're here. Thank you.